Less than 24 hours away from the grand opening of the first Wawa in our viewing area. The excitement is building. I feel it. And here's a map of all the Wawas going up in the area. That popular chain will open its doors in Stewart first thing in the morning. But then now's Katie Johnson. She actually got a sneak peek inside today. She's joining us now live to show us what all the hype's about, Katie. Well, Ashley, if you're a local like me, then you've probably been asking yourself, why are people so excited? about this place opening up here in Stewart. I got the chance to check it out today to find out what all the hype is about. Don't say it's just a gas station. That's an insult to Wawa employees. Oh no, we're not at just a gas station. I, some, I sometimes forget we have that out there, although that's an amazing part of our business as well. But it's really under the roof that where the magic happens. Charlene Marco Heim opened the first Wawa in Florida, moving from Philadelphia to Orlando to bring the chain to the Sunshine State. Just the opportunity to come down here and transfer our culture and infuse it with the Florida culture is something you couldn't turn down. And its fans here in Stewart tell me they've been anxiously waiting for their own Wawa, which opens bright and early Thursday morning. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Love you, Wawa. It picks you up and it makes your, the rest of your day go so much easier. Ron Sama is originally from New Jersey, where Wawas are everywhere. He was one of dozens of mid Atlantic transplants invited to today's sneak peek. It reminds us of home, of our Philly, New Jersey connections. And it just reminds us of family. The chain touts a family atmosphere served alongside some freshly made hoagies or hot coffee. Staples for Wawa fans who say the competition should take some notes. Maybe they can take a page out of Wawa's book and maybe do the service um, like Wawa does it. And this Wawa is right at the intersection of Monterey and Canner Highway where there are already two gas stations here at this intersection. Their managers wouldn't talk to us on camera, but we did speak to one business owner who says this new Wawa could impact his business and not in a positive way. We'll have more on that coming up all new at six. We're live in Stewart, Katie Johnson for the now South Florida. It looks good. Thank you. Right now.